Feeling DNA is a group of students here at UNC and our whole goal is to inspire the visually impaired community through the access of quality STEM education material and we're doing that by using the makerspace and creating 3D models and files to then get to the teachers so that they're able to incorporate them into their classroom and allow them to have tactile models. It was a big uh, struggle for me when I was taking those classes to to be able to write the structures of things on the exams and how reactions happened in a 3D way. So I think it's really going to help that aspect of education a lot. So far we have a 2D projection of a heart with a braille on the side. So when you touch the heart on one hand, you can feel the braille on the other hand. And then we also started making 3D models. So we have one of a bacterial phage. And right now we're um, trying to print an interactive DNA model. We all got started from Dr. Hogan's genetics class. She kind of prompted us to come up with an idea to use the makerspace, create something that would either teach someone something or that could be in a museum. The idea was to reinforce the concepts that they were learning in genetics and molecular biology. What's different about it is we're not telling students about how science works. We're having students do it. It's really experiential. So as we realized, you know, that this could actually have, you know, a lasting impact, not just on us as individuals, but, you know, nationwide, we realized we, we had to grow. And so we reached out, you know, to the biomedical engineering department and editors, business people, and just different people in the community and UNC itself. Like, I feel like we've used all the resources almost UNC has, which is awesome. What I love about this project is we started by reimagining science education and now these students have taken this to a new level by helping visually impaired students around the state. And so I think it aligns so nicely with the idea that we at UNC are reimagining arts and sciences for the public good. It kind of went from this assignment to then becoming this big project that we're all so passionate about and now like we're in the process of applying like, to become a 501c3 and become a nonprofit and hopefully create like a sustainable thing here at UNC.